Hey, what is going on guys? Gamer Dude back once again with another Days Gone New Game Plus video. So, I did of course play through Days Gone before on the channel, however, I only played it in short intervals because it was a new game to me, so I streamed it every so often and played through little bits of it on my own. This time around, I'm going to be playing through the entire story, piece by piece, uh, just on the odd few days. So uh, what we're doing is we're picking right up where we left off. We've got three missions on the map. We've got a load of extra side missions. We've got some of the hordes to take down. We've got some of the nests to do. But what we're going to be doing through these playthroughs is we're going to be just concentrating on the main story missions. Because when I played through it the first time around on the channel, I actually did go through some of the, uh, some of the nests and some of the hordes. So I figured this time around it's best just to go on with the main story. And then when there's some intervals between the missions, like when you've got to look around and upgrade your gear. Mine's already upgraded because of New Game Plus, but you know what I mean. We'll take on some of the nests and whatnot. Uh, just so you know we've actually got something to do instead of just riding around waiting for that next mission to pop up So before we begin I want to drop everyone's attention to the disclaimer I do not own any rights to this game. I do not claim to own any rights to this game All rights go to Ben Studio and Sony Interactive Entertainment. I'm simply doing a playthrough and promoting the product so yeah, let's uh, let's get on with the gameplay. I'm really excited to be playing through Days Gone again. It was a really entertaining game. It was really fun. Had a couple of jump scare moments in it, which I'm excited to relive and actually put through on the channel this time because before, you know, I did it with no commentary. So let's give it a go. What's really great as well is that I get to keep all of my upgrades from my previous saves. So that's that's really awesome. And I'm traveling at night, which is probably not the best idea. Out of the way. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, I hate controlling this thing. So, of course, we are streaming this again because the first time I streamed it, it received a lot of positive feedback it received over 50 views over 100 comments in chat and you guys really seem to enjoy uh, enjoy my antics and hilarious little uh, escapades while I'm playing it so uh, so I figured why not yeah we'll do, we'll do it again um, I have of course turned off the uh, backing track music because you know I, d I don't want to get screwed over for copyright reasons Oh, that's a lake. We do not want to ride into that. Yo, boss, what's up? Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate it. Not right now, we don't. As we don't, we don't have any uh, any molotovs or anything on us. I'm good, thanks. I'm pretty good. Had a good day, you know, just been chilling, messing around. How's uh, how's your day been going? We do have Molotovs. Oh, I could have taken out that nest. Rest in peace. They can't get you now. That's why I did that. Oh, he smacked her in the face. Overkill much? Damn. A lot of freaks in this graveyard. Well, then again, it's a graveyard. What do you expect? I mean, does he have to do a running commentary on everything? Like, he's like, need that, need that. 
Where'd you hide the stash, Leon? Yeah, always. Okay, let's take a look around. I'm only sneaking around because I've done this before and I know exactly what to expect. Although it is dark, so uh, you never know. Uh, the uh, the freakers could be away for the night. They do tend to uh, stay out during the night and come back during the day. Can use this. That's a helicopter. Boozer! Boozman, are you listening? Uh, no, you're not gonna believe this. I just saw a goddamn chopper! A chopper? What, what are you talking about? You're a chopper! It, it just buzzed right over me. It acted like I wasn't even there. Wait, all this time and a fed chopper shows up out of nowhere? I'm gonna chase them down, and I'm uh, uh, I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing. Hey, Deke. Be careful. Don't be too close to them. You know what the hell they're doing. Don't do anything stupid. I'm about to do something whoa, stupid. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. They're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. Why is it whenever says uh, whenever someone says don't do something stupid, they automatically do something stupid? <laughs> I'm not the only one who thinks that, right? It happens in every game. Neuro missions are just a pain in the backside. It's like, go here, listen to this guy, go there, listen to that guy. Wait, you can't kill anyone, you're not allowed to kill anyone. It's like, well, what's the fucking point of it? That's pleasant of them. Oh, if they see me, I'm dead. The fucking titty sucking two bald bitch. Yes, I was watching Paul earlier, that's where that came from if you uh, guys didn't realize. Oh, okay, at least it spawned me back here. See, you notice that these neuro guys, their visors are tinted, so you can't see their faces. Yes, I'm in tall grass. I cannot be seen. Sir. And I asked if you would go with him. Say I was. 
These subjects are not sleeping. They're hibernating. This is where like, like Deacon starts to realize now well maybe my wife's not dead after all. I just love that he's standing right next to me. Yeah, right. Like anyone gives a damn. Look, I am in tall grass. You cannot see me. It looks like it's kept all my landmarks, thankfully. Did you hear that? Hey, asshole. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yes, go investigate like good little minions. Bye bye now. What the hell are we doing here anyway? We got plenty of fuel. I double checked. I realize there's a freak nest there, I will get it some other time. You know what gets me is that this apocalypse has been going on for like two years and um, there seems to be a never-ending supply of gasoline in gas stations, in settlements, all over the roads. It's like, um, how? <laughs> you know, it's like, how is there so much gas laying around? The guys in The Walking Dead, they've been in the apocalypse for five, six years now and they are struggling. To uh, to keep up keep up on the gas, they're having to make their own over on Fear the Walking Dead now. You know what? We're here, so we're gonna do it. That didn't work. No, it's the wrong goddamn one. Shot. Blew his head off. Um, they're not really attacking me very well. Boozer, you there? Booze man, come back. Nero guy, the soldier, or whatever the hell he was, who took Sarah. What, what are you? He had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh, God, O'Brien. He wouldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. Okay, he's alive. Yoink. Bruiser, he's alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard... Okay, look. I went into their LZ, and they... Wait, wait, you, you went into the RLC? What the? Just listen to me. I heard them over the radio. They were talking about a man named O'Brien. Deke, don't. Not, Boozer, I'm not. I'm just... Hey, uh, get some sleep. Deacon out. I thought I'd just wait for that audio to be finished before I carried on. Oh, there's a blue thing down here. Yeah, Deke. They took care of it, Alvarez. I mean, thanks, brother. She do the same for us. 
risks. Yeah, she would have. Deacon out. Gimme. Give Gimme give scrap. Scrap. Oh, this is going to be one of those trap ones, isn't it? Gotta take a closer look. Footprints. Follow the footprints. Scream when I took it out. Items, if you want to swing by. Booze man, thank you, brother. Oh, oh, oh nasty. Mine Give me your bat. Boozer, thank you. Yeah, I'll stop by when I'm deacon out. Where is he? I don't see him. Oh, they're over there. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The start of this living hell that is now our life came as a surprise to no one who was listening to me when she was Most have spoken out against the fence. Well, that was a glitch. Sorry, bye. Have touching. Ah! What have I told you about touching? Really, they, they never listen. And there goes his head. Now then, back to what I was looking for. Unless this was it, you know, and it was just one of those crazy ambushes. I think it was. Oh man, that, that's, that's just a waste. Ooh, machete. Where's my bike? What will I come fuel? 90%. Oh, we're, we're good, we're good. This is why I really don't like controlling this bike. <laughs> why is that two kilometers away? Oh no, that's sending me over there. No, thank you. We're gonna go that way. Yes, I'll come back later and burn out these nests. Yes, you will come back later and burn out these nests. Ah. There is just zero control over this bike. I mean, look at that. I mean, I've got all the max upgrades on it, because obviously I'm playing the new game plus, so um, all the upgrades from my previous save are on this save. Which is good, you know, it means I don't have to level up and everything again, and I stand a better chance against hordes, but still, it's it's like, they could have added some better control for the bike. That's the only flaw I have with this game. It's like, there is just zero control for this bike. It's like there's an achievement in the game for you to drift it and um, use your nitrous for five seconds. And it's impossible. It's impossible. It's an ultra rare trophy. Only like 2% of people have got it. 
and I've watched a guide on YouTube to try and get it myself, but it seems impossible to get. I've even tried it in those missions where you get infinite fuel and you can just ride around uh, without worrying about your fuel running out. But it, it, it still, it just doesn't oh, seem to work. As well, it's here. I didn't really need this, but you know. Done. Sorry about that, I was replying to a message. That's the thing, when you're doing things like this, people always message you. Alright, where? Gotcha. Why? There he is! Silver helmet, red gas tank. That's it. Oh shit! The hell? So you thought you'd ride into Copeland's camp? I should have fixed up, that about right? Kill a few folks, take some shit, no, and ride out. I know. Oh, he did. What did you do, you son of a bitch? Hey, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, well, Coke kind of frowns on that. Not a fan of it myself, if you want to know the truth. Give drifters a bad name. What if you'd shot Manny? You know, who fixed my bike then? Stupid piece of shit. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Screw you! You are a cope with toadies, you little bitch! Oh, I can't That's shoot what him. You are. You little bitch. I'm a little bitch, am I? Well, I'm the little bitch who took you down. Cope. Yeah, I'd already done that. Mark down these coordinates and send your man out of here. Uh, Copeland's camp. That's where we want to go. Is he alive? This uh, boozer's got some stuff for me, so we're gonna take it. Yeah, he's alive. But I won't promise you how long he's gonna stay that way. Deacon out. Hey, look, deer. We need the meat. Got you. This is it. Down the man, what is up, dude? Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate it. Wolf. Stay out of it. Oh man, there's another one coming. Rude! Boozer, you there? I was just calling to check up on you. Yeah, D, come here. You hang in there, buddy. As soon as we get that arm patched up, we're riding north, just like you said. Ah, I hope so. God, I miss you, open road. You just work on getting better. I still got some work to do on the bike, and we gotta stock up on some gear. But once you're patched up, we're out of here. Deacon out. See, that's the thing, he doesn't get patched up and you don't leave, you end up staying. The whole plot of this game, right, you start to think at the beginning, okay, this is about this fixing is up his friend and leaving the area. But it just doesn't happen. You know, you end up staying put and killing everyone in sight.
<laughs> His arm is fucked. <laughs> See, that's what I don't understand. In the apocalypse, Hope they're not trying to people shit. are killing people. Yeah, and it's like, well, people Except, yeah, yeah, are we'll your main you resource. Oh, Instead yeah, of yeah. killing everybody in sight, why don't you all just band together, work things out, and say, right, we can provide for each other, we can help each other, instead of forcing people to do it, instead of killing people to force them to do it. It's just pointless. There's no need to be killing everybody in the apocalypse. What's this blue thing down here? Oh, it's a bear trap. What the hell's a bear trap doing there? Then again, what's a bunch of dead freaks doing there? So if you are just tuning in now, or if you're watching in the future, I have played Days Gone on the channel before. However, it was when the game just released, so I was playing it without commentary, I was playing it um, with massive intervals, with me doing extra little bits and just coming on it every so often. Whereas this time around, uh, I'm going to be playing it in story mode order. Uh, yeah. nah, nah, you gotta leave the bike out here, Deke, or it'll pull all of them down on you. I need that stun gun. Yep, I know. Nest. Kind of place you want to call home, yeah. God damn it! What you all shit yourself at once? Jesus Christ! Yep, I'm just walking through a giant pile of dirt. What the hell are you doing in here? Huh? See, because it's during the day, there's actually going to be a hell of a lot more of them. Fire in the hole. Get kind of cold out here. That I help you out. Best to use the silencer, or they will all come out of the nests at once, and you don't want that. So if you're watching now or in the future, have you actually played Days Gone? Uh, do you like Days Gone? Do you want them to make a sequel? Or do you think it was just too overrated and doesn't actually deserve a sequel? Personally, I quite enjoyed it. You know, I think it was worth the hype. It, it had its flaws, it had its problems, but I still think it was worth the hype. Oh, where do you come from? No touching. Oh, that's an action shot right there, in the flames. I swear there's more in here. I think there's uh, more outside. Yeah, there's more down here. More here? Yep. Not what that blows up real good. I love that. I bet that blows up real good.
See, what's cool about me playing through it on the new game plus is that I've got literally everything. I've got all the upgrades, I've got all the decent weaponry, which is just what we need. Damn, he moved. I have some of that. I don't know why that one's just standing there. Oh, have I got a dancing freaker? I thought there was a dancing freaker there. No, it's just it's just a piece of the piece of the woodwork. A box. I love boxes. What's in the mystery box? Oh, well, that's boring. I don't love boxes anymore. Boxes are boring. The early nests and the early versions of the freaks are so easy to take out. Is that the last of them? Finally. Oh snap! I kind of like the machete. Those nests should be less freezing now from now on. Hey, Deke, how'd it go? Were there, were there a lot of them? Yeah, but I wanted to clear them while it was still light out. You know how the sunlight bothers them. Yeah, that's, that's probably the way to do it. Right, anyway, well, thanks for, thanks for doing that, Deke. <gasps> Get some shut eye boozer. So again, I, th I thought I'd wait until the uh, the dialogue was done there. Okay. Ooh. Hunting for shinies. These are my shinies. Is that a sledgehammer? That is a sledgehammer. Yoink. Don't ask me why I just walked into a truck. I have no idea why I just walked into a truck. So, it looks like the only place we've got to go now is two kilometers away. Because riding so far away is so much fun. <clears throat> and I ran, I ran so far away. It's a shame we can't play music in the background because that would go so well right now. That guy's still there that I caught. <laughs> How has he not been eaten alive yet? This is probably going to burn through a lot of fuel on my way there. Hope I don't get caught by any bandits. <coughs> Neuro checkpoint. Have I already got this one though? That's the question. If it opens, I've already Shit. got it. Yeah, I've already got this one. Damn. Maybe there's a dead guy in here somewhere. If you loot the dead guys, you get something called Ipotec, which uh, really does help. Helps you uh, get that stun gun. Shit. 
need to remember you can't barge through those things. Now I've got to go through a deep dark tunnel. That's always fun. Taking it slow. Taking it slow. Please don't jump out at me. I'm just going about my business. No need to frighten me. Good little freaks. Okay, so the one thing that really perks up this game is the um, right, oops, is the actual uh, background to it. I love the background to this game. It is so perfect. Slam. I love doing that too. Toro, Toro, come on, come on. Follow the monkey. Follow the monkey. Ow. Don't touch the monkey. You're not allowed to touch the monkey. Uh, new follower on PlayStation, Aaron Ativia. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. If you are watching this on uh, PlayStation Live, uh, just bear in mind, I don't really pay attention to what happens in that right very often. Uh, so uh, if you are watching this through there, just make sure you follow me on YouTube. I will respond to all comments and whatnot on my YouTube channel. I should really check on the PlayStation Live, but um, it just it just never occurs to me, you know, I, because for a while, for the longest time, I forgot my videos uploaded to there as well. So I just haven't actually been paying attention to it that much. Yeah. Well, we were here and we came across this, so I figured why not. Come on. Come on, little puppies. Good little puppies. That's pleasant. It just says kill on the side there. Ah! Rude! No sneaking! Not allowed to sneak. I do the sneaking. Squish. That's enough of your roaring. I like them fiery. Look at this ugly bitch. Get off. That's, the one, that's another thing that lets this game down when it does that. So if you're in the middle of killing a bunch uh, a bunch of uh, freakers, you don't want it to be coming up with, uh, oh, you've done this part of the game, and then it just freezes, and then suddenly you're, you're overwhelmed and swarmed. It's like, well, I was doing something, man. Come on, that's not fair. Stamina cocktail. Yum. Now, if I remember correctly, this is one of the jump scare moments. <laughs> Aww. Alright, so it's not that one. Is it this one? It's not that one either. Don't tell me they've taken it out. 
That would be so rude if they've taken it out. Max capacity, of course. I'll have that. Nothing in this world is useless. I still remember the promo that the uh, the voice actor did for this. He did actually say nothing in the world of Days Gone is useless. So the first stream I did of this was rather popular. It got over 50 or so views. Uh, that's why I have decided to do it again. But uh, it's looking like this time it's not as popular because not as many people are viewing it. Uh, so um, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to stream it one more time and uh, see what happens after that. Ooh, spike two by four. Ooh, that crash really hurt the bike. No more distractions. Let's get over there. Let's get to where we're going. Unless we need fuel, then, you know, that's a distraction because we'll have to stop and refuel. Dead rippers are still there. <clears throat> Dear. Okay, that that's a worthy distraction. Not that we need the camp credits, because, you know, we've already uh, got full camp trust, uh, given that we've uh, played through it before and got full camp trust before. Marauders killing freaks, huh? Doing something right for a change. Yeah, I'll just leave them to it. They can take each other out. Nope, 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 no! Ah. That's why I do not like the bike. Tiny tap, dead. Literally, a tiny tap, and I was dead. I wasn't even going that fast. I wasn't even using nitrous. That's one for the hysterical reel, though. You know, that's, uh, that's a funny thing. Oh, it's put me all the way back here. Why? Why do you have to be so mean? Anyone else think that's mean and just totally rude? Oh yeah, I've already I've already been in that house. I was I was in that house when I came through here the first time around. I got a use for you. It didn't even save. What the fuck? I got to remember to keep using that quick save feature from the car. A uh, car? Bike. Oh yay, for joys, all the freaks came back. Oh, that's a new... Die. I hate those little things. Nasty little buggers. Let's hope we don't die this time. What did you drive? Thought I'd make a ripper axe this time. Take two. Must remember sniper not. God damn it. Oh no, not sniper. That wasn't there the first time. Ah, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Seriously? Uh, 
in the testicles. You want to challenge me with a sniper? Me? Uh, Fuck you. you. Better, huh? Goddamn sniper. Yeah. Got to repair my fucking bike again now. I hate these goddamn ambushes. It's one minute the day, one minute they're there, the next they're not there. And they always shoot the fucking engines of the bike. Take three. Let's just uh, rewind over all that. Bzz, bzz. And there's nobody taking freaks out there anymore. I suppose because they set up that ambush instead. Assholes. I'm going to take it easy down here this time. Easy. Easy. Okay, I realised that wasn't taking it easy, but if you see a jump, you know, you just can't resist. It's a jump. I love that tiny tap and he's like, ow. Yeah. Oh, it's getting a bit slow. A bit of lag. I don't mean on the stream, I mean in the game. There's a bit of lag in the game. Let's, let's see if they've actually fixed the gate for this camp, because this gate was one of the more fucked up gates in the game, and it just didn't work properly. No, they still haven't fixed it. <laughs> they still went into the mocap T-pose. Maybe I should do another glitch video. Anybody touches this bike or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. That's pleasant. Jesus. Wouldn't you want to break the guy's fingers that touch the bike instead of the guy watching the bike? Help you. You need something. Yes, chainsaw blades on the bike would be epic. I keep telling you, everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to. I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry. Even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! Rude. We're all hungry, Al. But this job's gotta get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we've got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, will you, Al? I got things to do. Grippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them. How the f Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they I'll headed do it. north? Al, are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I don't know. When I say I'll do it, I mean I'm about to be drafted to do it. Maybe he knows. What the fuck are you up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, al -Kai. It's not his job to know, it's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You either want me here, running your dig, or you want me out there in the shit. Chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. If they do indeed make a second Days Gone game, there's a lot of things that they need to re readjust and 
fuck up. Don't. And sort out, to be fair. Like, the crafting of the weapons, like... You've got a big 2x4 and you can just craft it into that that's on my back in seconds. At least with Dead Rising... There was the maintenance rooms and then Dead Rising 4, he stops for a second to craft it and with this it's just immediately crafted. A golf cart! Kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the feet. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I, I, I love the challenge in this with the uh, sort of crazy taxi vibe going on where you use the golf caddy to go pick up survivors. That is just freaking hilarious. Because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. <laughs> Jesus. You keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs. Damn right we keep burning. Try using more gasoline. Burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours, spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise. It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. I don't know why we can't drive this thing in free mode. It would be so awesome to drive this thing around in free mode. No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived with those mean enough, nasty enough to out freak the freaks. <laughs> Golfing in a survival game. <laughs> well, apart from the bike, this is the only working vehicle you see in the entire game until the end of the game when they're driving that big truck. I can't remember what you said. You were you were what? You were a warden or something? Huh, nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in a pen back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Fork, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like, but he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. Bitch, I just took out your bounty and you're not going to pay up? I should, I should totally shoot you for that. Someone's looking at a night in the shack. Alcott. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men escaped a ripper camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time they kept asking me if you knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking if you'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it? What's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. He's got a point. Why are they still wearing the jackets? It really doesn't matter. You got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Why don't you just show me what you got because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. I'm thinking about sw switching out the sniper. Yeah, I can upgrade that. Here you go. 
Switching out the sniper to the actual uh, Good choice. Uh, crossbow that you what get given at the start of the game. Thanks. Need anything else? Because at this at this stage in the game, the crossbow is actually a very good weapon. I own practically all of the guns. The only ones I haven't bought are the craptacular ones, like little stubby. That that is just a terrible weapon to use. Uh, sidearm. I think it comes under special. Yeah, it does. Yeah, we'll switch out the sniper for the time being, and we'll have the uh, the crossbow, just because there's an there's an achievement I want to get. I always use that one. I always use that one through my other playthrough. So I, th I think I'm just going to stick to something else. You know, keep keep something different. So what else can we have? Yeah, we'll, sti we'll stick with that. And there's my sniper on the floor. So, craft. 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 We just need a poison bolt. That's the achievement I actually want to get. Um, I took it to Copeland before, so we'll give it to Tucker. Head north until I get better gear. Tucker, it is. Hey, Tuck. You get my drugs from Leon? Yeah, yeah. Cope wanted me to sell to him, but uh, I know who my friends are. You got that right. Go see Alki. I heard Larson brought in a stash of shotguns and rifles. Maybe he's got something you can use. I forgot about the different choices you can make in this game. So I'm going to go ahead and change the bike livery because I really don't like that one. How's the bike business going, Sandy? Oh, you can't. Okay. Uh, repair. Let me have a look at it. Refuel. Okay, then. That'll do nicely. Hey, see you, Deacon. Hey, a Deacon, right? How's it going, Zanny? Zanny, I'll be back. And they still haven't fixed the gate. Watch, watch, watch. There's no person opening it. <laughs> and when you come back in, the uh, the person goes in the mocap t pose. It's 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 really it's completely broken. you in your damn bunk. I couldn't sleep. You, you remember what I said? Just gonna search this building. Don't go up there, Dick. It's it's making you crazy. Who's her? Hey, okay, look. I go up there because there's freaks up there. I kill them here. I kill them there. Bounties are all the same to me. Then what are the tulips for? Huh? I saw them, Dick. Here on the table this morning. Same one she had at the wedding. I remember. I'm mucking up. Listen, loser, get some rest. I gotta go. Deacon out. Tulips, boozer, there's stone crop. Get it right. And now he's gonna go visit his potentially alive but dead wife. Which we later find out is actually alive. Back during the American Revolution, when we were fighting for our freedoms, 
we gained the beautiful right to keep and bear arms. A right we use to protect ourselves, our families, our property. That is, until the ever-growing federal government got scared of the people they swore to protect. Over the years, they stripped us of every gun right they could. Using a few mass shootings as an excuse to curtail the God-given rights of us, American citizens. Gun control. And there went the Second Amendment, ladies and gentlemen. Let me ask you this. There oh, he did. All this shit went down. If every American was packing heat, do you think we'd be in this mess? Hell no. But this is how the feds wanted it. Disarming the public was just the first step toward getting rid of us all. So who did those gun laws really protect? Sure as hell wasn't us. Dude, American why does it matter about gun laws right now? It's the so apocalypse. They, Everybody they can have a us. fucking gun. <laughs> Stop Take ranting about shit. <laughs> You're telling a bunch of lies. This time you got me. I'll take all the guns I can get my hands on. Ain't no one taking them away. Well, that's, that's just rude. There's nothing in this house worthy of taking. Let me search it for nothing. It's actually one of the houses that you do one of the new survival modes in. And it's virtually impossible, is that one, by the way. Just throwing that out there. Right, so we gotta go up there, there's nothing else around except that neuro checkpoint, I might come back to that in a little bit, because we're going to be streaming for about another 10 minutes or so guys, so we'll probably get this mission done then call it. But uh, like I said guys, this stream hasn't been as popular as the first one that I did. So uh, I'm going to stream it one more time and see what happens. Because you never know, you know, um, it could gain a couple more views um, a couple of days after I don't, after I stop streaming it. So that's, that's why I always do it at least two or three times. I mean, the first time I stream something, it is usually popular. And then the views decline and then the rise again. That's a poor son of a bitch. That's a bad way to go out, yeah? Oh, nasty. Oh! Horde! 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 Run away! Running away! Come back later. Finish burning out these nests. We want no part of that. Damn. You out there? Uh, Tuck, yeah, I'm here, and I'm guessing you got another job for me. So, okay, I'll stop by, Deacon out. Uh, not too bad, Dan the Man. Uh, had a pretty uneventful day, to be fair. I've not done much except sit on my ass and play games. <laughs> uh, how's your day been? See, I can hear big growling, and that big growling just makes me think there's a bigger freak around. One of those breakers. Tucker to Deacon St. John. Are you listening? I talked to Alki the other day. Some of the other men. I know you've been doing runs for the camp. I just wanted Bam. to say thank you. I'm so good with headshots. Shut up. I haven't seen Bruiser Sweet Face around these last few days. You sure he's all right? This is Deacon. Boozer's fine. Like I said, he's just been busy. Doing runs for that son of a bitch, Mark Copeland, no doubt. 
Oh, I, lo I love recliner sofas. I have one myself. Uh, I just, I, I just relax all day, every day, and just pretend that uh, pretend that the world doesn't exist. You know, you fall asleep on these things, and you just forget the world's out there. <laughs> Hi. Bye. What's up, my G? You got no arm. I took your arm. That's my bounty for the day. I'm taking the, I'm taking your arm, dude. You never know, it could turn into something like The Walking Dead. I might need your arm. Because for some reason in The Walking Dead, they cut off the walker's arms and use them. Because why the fuck not? And stay down. And where'd you come from? Little straggler. No more for you. Get the hell out of my camp. You ain't giving me no love taps. How many of you sons of bitches are there? Huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Finally, Jesus. I'm so good with this thing. Yeah. Or is it? Oh. Hey there little dude. Did I miss you? I'm sorry. Here they go. Join your friends. Hey babe. It, it doesn't matter. By this point in the game, you think she's dead. So it really doesn't matter. Uh, hey, me again. So he's been visiting what he thinks is his wife's grave for two years. Flashback sequence, which is unplayable. You told me that I shouldn't come back, and I didn't listen to you, and then I knew that it was getting worse, but I... None of us knew it was going to go away like this. Fast. You don't understand. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. This is my fault. Hey. Don't lose a name. I made a promise. Remember? Deacon, wait! Sir, come on. There's a kid here. This part kind of reminds me of The Last of Us. Hey, are you okay? Come on, we gotta find your parents, okay? Come on. Crazy fucking kid. Um, I don't know, I don't, I don't think it's that bad. Story of Days Gone, I would give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. It's, it, it's just kind of all over the place really it's like go to this one place for this part of the quest and then you start another quest and then that quest makes no sense as opposed to the quest that you've just done so it, it's it's a bit all over the place it's like this part right here you see this flashback sequence so many times in the game from so many different perspectives there's just no need for it there's no need to keep showing us the same thing over and over again. Mm. Mm. Oh, 
mob. You want to be able to come through? We gotta get to the roof, flag down one of those choppers. And then the loading screens come back. You know, I'm sad that the uh, next generation is coming out next year, but I cannot wait to see these loading screens go bye bye. She reminded me so much of my little sister, you know. Because we used to play that hide and seek game all the time. She was just. So, three people watching, thanks for stopping in, guys. I do appreciate it. So that guy's just got himself killed. If not by me, then by all the freaks outside. Uh, okay. You get attention. I try to sneak up behind him, okay? See, when I first played this, I thought this part right here would be playable. You know, when he goes, oh, I'll distract him, blah, blah, blah. And it's, it's not, you know? I thought you'd have to sneak up behind him and take him down, but it's not playable. Listen to me, listen to me. My girl's out there, she's been stabbed. We're just trying to get to the roof. There's a helicopter you her. So listen. You killed my wife! Oh, no, no, no. I didn't know anything about your wife being killed. I am sorry, sir. No, sir. Do what you do. Do what you do, okay? Listen to this. Just do what you're doing. 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 Stop. 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 Bye. That dude was just not going to listen to reason. What are you whinging about? You're a biker. You probably kill people for a living. I mean, he is the enforcer of the biker club, so he probably beats people up and kills people for a living. So why was that so salty for him to do? <laughs> Wait, we need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I really don't understand why we have to keep seeing this particular flashback sequence, though. I get that O'Brien is a huge part of the game, but they keep showing this one flashback sequence from different perspectives, and it's again, it's just it's not needed. Okay. I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. What do you got room for two of you? We're overweight, okay? I can only take two of you, two. <laughs> come on, help me, come on. All right, sweetheart. That's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta get on that. Hold on. We gotta get on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been to worse shit than this before. You know? The one thing it doesn't tell you, though, is how Boozer gets that cut. G camp west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never gonna make it without me. It's like really, it's gonna go through the whole thing again. It's like we've already seen this, and we're gonna see it f like five more times. We don't need to keep watching it.
is it bad of me to want something like this to happen to the world? <laughs> you know, just a big reset button. Get rid of governments, get rid of politics, get rid of money, and just live however the fuck we want. You know, drive for free, live for free, go where we want for free, do what we want for free. Minus all the brutal murders and killings, but yeah, you, you get where I'm coming from, you know? The world needs a reset button. Everything is based on economy and money, and it is going to be our downfall. The human race is just too damn greedy. I've spoken about this with several people, and several people agree with me. The human race is too greedy for its own good, and it is going to lead to our destruction. So I think, guys, we are going to uh, leave it there because uh, there's uh, there's only two people watching right now, and it's it's been between two and three people throughout the whole stream. So I'm going to leave it there, and uh, we're going to obviously come back one more time uh, just to see how popular the stream is. Because, like I said, it got over 50 or so views the first time I did it, a couple of hundred comments. Maybe this time it's just an off day for people, you know, I don't expect everyone to drop everything and instantly watch my content. I realise you have lives. I realise you have stuff to do. I'm not the centre of your world. I'm just here to provide you entertainment and some laughs and some good quality gameplay from a genuine gamer who does not do mods. Because most of the people I've seen playing this game have modded the shit out of it. So that is why I'm a legit gamer. I don't believe in mods. I really don't. And I don't know why people like modding games. It's just... Ugh. Don't get me started on this. It'll just be a massive mods discussion. <laughs> uh, so, uh, shout out to everyone active in chat. Uh, Dan the Man and Bus. Appreciate you guys stopping in. Appreciate anybody who's just stopped in and then popped out. Either way, regardless, I still appreciate it. If you are new to the channel and watching in the future, don't hesitate to drop me a like and a subscribe. I always sub back to new subscribers, and I do try to view any content you are producing. Uh, so, speaking of subscribers, we are now at 972. We are climbing ever so close towards that goal of 1K. Let's really see if we can get there by the end of the year. I have a special live stream planned if we can get there for the end of the year. And... Uh, when I get to 1K, I can also start streaming from my phone and my laptop again, so I can start doing those chat and hangout streams again. Since YouTube changed their terms and conditions, I can't do those at the moment until I have a thousand subscribers. So it'd be really cool if I can get back, get up to a thousand and get that capability back. Um, tomorrow, I'm not too sure what I'm going to be doing. Um, I might uh, I might bring up a game that I haven't done for quite a while. In fact, uh, I don't think I've done it since I was on my 90 day streaming ban. Hopefully I won't get another one of those. I am being exceptionally careful with what I stream now. And I'm always asking permission if I get a new game. I'm always emailing the developer like, can I do this? Am I allowed to stream this? And you know, if they say, well, yeah, she'll go for it, fine, fair enough. If they don't reply, I'm like, well, I'll test it. And if it gets a copyright claim, I won't do it again. So that, that's how careful I'm being. Uh, but uh, yeah, anyway, that's it for this stream. If you're watching in the future, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow because we're just going to have something drop on you. I'm not sure what it's going to be. <laughs> uh, now that our Batman Arkham series is finished, I'm really not sure what it's going to be. It could be anything, you know, just going to bring something up. Uh, Saturday, of course, we'll have our annual Just the Facts series that you guys really seem to enjoy. That's why I keep doing it. And it's unique to myself, even though I stole the title from J. Jonah Jameson in Spider-Man. But what are you going to do? Sue me. <laughs> Actually, I hope I don't get sued by Insomniac or Sony. Because, you know, I totally stole the, the logo for it. And I totally stole the name for it. But anyway, yeah, at least I twisted it a little. But moving on. <laughs> um, Sunday, of course, would be our Telltale game series with The Walking Dead Season 3. Uh, however, I still haven't managed to procure a replacement for it. So... Until I manage to get a replacement for it, I am going to be taking Sundays off from the channel, as well as my usual Tuesdays. Uh, but it's, uh, it, it's also so it just gives me extra time to catch up on my shows, especially with The Walking Dead returning, you know, I'll be watching that on Sundays. Um, 
it, it just gives me time to play games with the lads as well and just have a day to myself really as well as tuesday but um i will try i will try my best to bring you guys some new content and some better content because there's a lot of games coming out this year that i will be getting for christmas and sometime before christmas so um you know you guys can really enjoy it uh, I'm also I'm also getting the Last of Us Part Two. I have pre-ordered that. I pre-ordered the Collector's Edition, so that will arrive on the day when it releases in February. I'll also do an unboxing video for the Collector's Edition, uh, so you guys can see what cool stuff comes with it. So that being said, then this has been Gamer Dude. Happy gaming, and I will catch you all in the next one, guys.